Today, I wanna to go through and I wanna put head to head a couple of the cheap 3D printers that are out there. I'm certain many of you have purchased either one or both of them. I happen to have got both the Elegoo Centauri Carbon and I've got the M1 Pro and I've been printing on both of them. I wanna share with you some of the results that I have. The first thing I wanna take a look at is the Benchy. Pre-sliced by artillery on their printer and I've printed it. Let's take a look at it together. Just like everyone else, I was excited when the Artillery M1 Pro was released. We had a 3D printer that could do it all. We had the hardened nozzle, hardened steel nozzle, the active heat chamber. We had the ability to do everything and to do it at a price we could afford, $349. I quickly ordered one. Shortly after, it went up to $379. Still a bargain at that price. When it showed up, we had files on there that were pre-sliced. The G code for several files one of those was the benchy and i quickly printed it excited to see the quality i was pleased when it printed in 20 minutes but when i took a look at the quality that came out of that printer i was a little concerned this benchy is not what i was hoping for in quality well i go through and i printed it several times and the quality just simply is not the same in the benchy as it's been with other printers on their benchies and then i printed other files and the quality seems to be pretty good on a lot of the files that I print. And I've decided that I think it's just the way it's sliced. If I turn around and slice this file instead of focusing on speed, but I focus on quality, I think I can get a higher quality benchy out of it. And today I want to do that. But not just the Artillery M1 Pro. While we do it at the same time, let's slice this same benchy in the same slicer and print it side by side on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon next to the Artillery M1 Pro. Let's see which one's faster. Let's see which one has the higher quality print. Let's have fun with this. Well, let's go slice this up. We're gonna pull up the Artillery Slicer. We're going to select the Artillery uh, printer, slice it. It's going to be for the 0.4 nozzle. Then we'll turn around, change the printer in the Artillery Slicer to the Centauri Carbon and we will also slice it there and, and we'll print it side by side with the artillery and the uh, Centauri Carbon and see what we get. Let's see which is faster. Let's see which one's better quality. We are in the artillery slicer. We have loaded up a Benchy into it. We have gone through, made all of the settings the exact same, except for we are changing the artillery M1 Pro. Then we are going to export it, and then we're going to come down here, and we are going to take and we're going to save it as the Centauri Carbon, four point, both of them a four-point nozzle. Save both of them and export them. Take them to the printer, and let's run a head-to-head -head competition between them, printing just a simple Benchy. Now we're going to come in here. We are going to run a test, see which one does faster, and see which one has better quality print. And we are going to come to the artillery, it's got auto bed leveling turned on and we are going to hit print and then we are going to come over here to the Elegoo Centauri Carbon and we are going to take, it's got leveling, you don't see the button very well there in the camera, but this is level, it's turned on and we are going to hit print. So it's now going through preheating and we will go through and check back in just a little bit and see which one has done better. The Elegoo Centauri Carbon, it did heat up just a little bit faster. Elegoo still has 60 degree temperature for the bed. And we have 40 degree bed temperature for the artillery. The Centauri Carbon got done with the, its heat test first, uh, or heating up first. Then it's gone through and it's done its auto bed leveling first and it is already to printing. Printing already. And we are still over here with the Artillery M1 Pro. It just finished its bed leveling and it is now starting to go through and do printing. So not far behind. They're both printing fairly quickly. It's coming through here and take a look. We have got more than the first layer down. So the speed is picked up on the Centauri Carbon already. We are over here and we're taking a look at the Artillery M1 Pro. It's getting to the point it's finishing with the first layer and it's rip roaring also. As we keep monitoring the progress of both the Centauri Carbon and the M1 Pro, the Centauri Carbon keeps getting further and further ahead. ahead.
And remember, these were both sliced in the same slicer. The only difference we put was one was for the Centauri Carbon, one was for the M1 Pro. We put them in and we hit go. And the progress between the two is quite substantial. Yes. Now we'll do Centauri Carbon, just hit its 75% mark on here. Benchy. Come along, all right. We come over here to Artillery M1 Pro, and it says we're 22%. Now if we take a look at the time here, we've been printing for about 22 minutes so far. When we printed the Benchy from the G code that Artillery put on the M1 Pro, it took us 20 minutes to print the Benchy. Now the Benchy that it printed wasn't bad quality, but it did most definitely come at a reduced quality to be able to get that speed. If we take a look here, this is the Elevu Centauri Carbon, and it's obviously printing faster than the Artillery M1 Pro. It's just a little bit ahead. Okay, maybe quite a bit ahead. As far as speed goes, your Artillery M1 Pro has quite a ways to go to be able to catch up with the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. However, as we get updated firmware, we have better profiles put into slicers. I do believe that the uh, Artillery M1 Pro has the hardware components that it will be able to catch up with the Centauri Carbon. It just needs some time to be able to get uh, better profiles and better firmware. The Centauri Carbon is completely finished. The Artillery M1 Pro is 33% of the way done. It's now been an hour and two minutes and we're 66% of the way done. And that's with the 0.4 nozzle on it. If you jump over here to this Centauri Carbon, I've got a 0.6 nozzle on this printer right here, and I could print a Benchy in nothing flat. I wonder what the quality would be like compared to these other Benchies. Maybe I'll print one. Not saying speed's not important, but let's shift gears for just a moment, and let's talk about quality. Are we going to get a higher quality Benchy printing on the Centauri Carbon in 30 minutes? Or can the Artillery M1 Pro take an hour and 19 minutes and get an even higher quality Benchy? Let's take a look at the actual Benchies that have been produced so far and see what we think. Let's start with looking at the Benchy off of the Centauri Carbon. Artillery M1 Pro.
that line right there is on every single one of them that I've printed on, no matter what machine. So that's going to be part of the STL. It's just the way it's sliced. We've got another up here, and that comes every time. On the other hand, it shows up more prominently when it's printed on the Artillery M1 Pro than if I do it on the Centauri Carbon. The quality of this, when I print it sliced my way, is not bad. I do see some lines there, but I think that is the STL because it happens in every one I print, no matter what machine I print it on with this STL. There are still some layer lines there a little bit. Well, this is the original Benchy. Did we improve the quality going from a 20 minute Benchy going to a hour and a half Benchy? We did, substantially. As a matter of fact, I say this Benchy passes. I give it a go, I like it. It's, it's just about as good as any Benchy from any printer that I printed out there. I like it, no complaints. Going through, this is the one that I printed on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. I have no complaints with it either. If I had to go through and say which one of these two is best and I have to pick, I would say the Centauri Carbon probably beats out the M1 Pro, but it's by just a small margin. On this right here, the speed is still an issue. I did go ahead and I reprinted this one and I reprinted it in the ludicrous mode. The quality difference for between ludicrous mode and non-ludicrous mode, negligible. I cannot even tell the difference between the two of them. It saved maybe 15 minutes, so you're still looking at an hour and 15 minutes to print uh, the Benchy, even on ludicrous mode. I do believe that over time, there will be some more profiles or updated uh, software that will make it to where it will print faster, I hope. Just for the kicks of it, I printed with my .6 nozzle on a Centauri Carbon, and I did print pretty close to a 20 minute uh, Benchy on my Centauri Carbon, and I still give the Centauri Carbon at 20 minutes a slight nudge above and better than the M1 Pro. Your Centauri Carbon, I think, wins this one. Well, taking a look at the benches, I gave a slight nudge to the Centauri Carbon, but it was slight. Other than speed, it was, it was slight. I have gone through now and I said, let's, let's print side by side a handful of prints and see if it's across the board. Does the Centauri Carbon actually go through and beat the M1 Pro and, and how often? The very next thing that I printed is I printed, uh, it's just a fidget spinner. This came off of the plate like this. I mean, I literally went through, cracked it, picked it up and spun it. It was a perfect print. This right here being printed on the M1 Pro took about four hours and it doesn't spin at all. It's, if I go through here, I might be able to break this to the point that I can get it spinning, but it is tight enough that it's going to take me going through and actually working it, and then it might actually spin just fine. But as of right now, the tolerances are just a little too tight. And I think if we were to run a tolerance test on the, uh, the M1 Pro, my guess is, you're going to see the tolerances are just a little too tight because it's it's just not and there we break it and I do have the ability to spin but so I break it and quality to be honest with you I think the quality is it's it's right there in the same quality But, and now it works pretty good. 
to be honest with you, negligible indifference. Negligible indifference. I don't know which one I would give the the win to on these. High quality. Both of them printed. I'm very satisfied with them. Next thing I printed, I went through and I printed a couple of baskets. I would give the uh, most definitely give the win to the Centauri Carbon. Uh, this one I had it. It's, it has something here that's built up on the top of every one of the holes in the wall, like some filament build up. I mean, it could be cleaned up in post production, I suppose, but it's also got the layer lines or some sort of a line that's on the outside of it, also there. This one's by far better. I like the Centauri Carbon better on that one for sure. And then the last one I went through, everyone likes to print a, an articulated dragon. So I printed a couple articulated dragons. This one came off of your uh, M1 Pro. This one came off of your Centauri Carbon. I can't give a, I mean, neither one of them are better or worse than the other. I, I give it sixes on these. They're printing equally good. I, I like them both. Anyway, if you liked this video, I would uh, appreciate a thumbs up. I'd appreciate a subscription. If you have something else you'd like to see me compare printed between the Centauri Carbon and the M1 Pro, leave me a comment and we'll go through and uh, shoot more videos.